Hello everyone and welcome to Spore, the Omnivore Edition. So continuing on with our fantastic Summer in Space special event, we are returning to a series that we have had so much fun with in the past, Spore. One of my all-time favorite games. Oh, look at that guy! Oh, that's so cool! I love watching the little ship zip around. This is so exciting! And in the past, we have actually done a peaceful herbivore playthrough and we have done a more aggressive carnivore playthrough with our Finna and our Leopli respectively and if you guys would like do check out the playlist for those because they have been really fantastic adventures they're always in the back of my mind as something to kind of dive into casually as little bonus episodes now and then but this time to celebrate the new season the summer in space special and just how awesome Spore is I thought we would dive in with an omnivore playthrough and we would try something a little different exactly what would we try? Exactly how different would it be? Who knows? Who knows? It has been a very long time since I have played Spore and you never know how you must adapt for survival. So we're going to go ahead and dive into the primordial pools and try creating a whole new creature, a whole new civilization, a whole new society in space together and we're just going to have to see how we adapt and what we end up using, what parts we end up finding, what places we end up exploring, if we're ever going to find some of the space cats that we made for the space cattery. I think it's going to be a really great time. But first things first, we need to pick our starter planet. There is an all red planet over there, a couple of red ocean planets. There's some beautiful blue ocean, green ground, like green land planets that I really like. And if you guys didn't know, I love terraforming. Oh my gosh, I love terraforming in sport. It is like one of my favorite things to do. Um, you know, let's see. I kind of want to go with a blue ocean planet. And I kind of want to go with something traditional like Earth. This one just looks really cool to me. This one looks pretty cool, but this one is just standing out to me. So let's go ahead. Look at that beautiful world. And we are going to start off in the cell stage. Start at the very beginning. Nurture your own creature from its humble aquatic origins to its evolution as a sentient species in the epic journey of Spore. And that sounds exactly the perfect place for us to begin with this brand new adventure. And we'll start off as a humble... As a humble carnivore or herbivore herbivore and we'll work our way up to being a carnivore as time goes on when we try to play the omnivore route so let's go ahead we'll start off just nibbling nibbling delicately nibbling gently on some of the delicious um algae that could be out there and we'll go ahead with a normal difficulty level because i've i've been around this a time or two and let's pick a name let's see aline Ooh, I actually really like that. And it kind of looks like the alien fish from Subnautica. And we've been playing Subnautica a lot lately. So tentatively named the Aline. Let's dive in and begin a new adventure with new life. Here in a brand new solar system. Ah, there we go. There it is. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this part because we get to see the meteorite that carries the seed of life diving straight for this beautiful planet and oh my gosh it is a gorgeous planet look at it go wow guys look at these amazing mountains that we have on this planet this is going to be fantastic and there we are the seeds of life have been sown into the sea try saying that five times fast and we're going to begin with the aline tiny itty bitty unicell probably mm, they're probably multicellular at this stage actually is that us? Are we inside there? Look at all the food! Ah, there we are! We're so cute! Alright, well let's get down to the business of survival. So, wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle. Uh, you guys, you guys look- Oh, they look so cool and see-through! Oh, look, there's some food! Alright, so, this is fun because we have been playing Subnautica as part of our Summer in Space special event, and that's awesome, and now we're kind of taking the role of the itty bitty little fishies that we end up eating in Subnautica, so we're, we're playing across the whole spectrum. Ah, uh, no, I want that. Come back. There we go. Om nom diatoms. But we're playing across like the whole spectrum of the ecosystem as both predator and prey. All different levels of sentience. Alright, let's see that. Eh, and stage one is so hard because we just have these tiny little flagella to propel us forward. No! You, I'm going to turn into an omnivore so I can eat you. Eat you and all of your probably protein-rich eyeballs. I'll show you eating my little diatoms. 
and it does take a little bit to get around when you don't have a lot of really great movement. I think movement will be one of the first things we focus on. And I'm, I'm kind of big. I would like to kind of shrink down, be faster, be smaller, because being this large, I feel like, I mean, yeah, I can kind of, oh, 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 there we go. No, I'm larger. No, no carnivore. Run. Go, little flagella. Ah, ah, there's more carnivores. There's more. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. Eat quickly. Eat quickly. No, my mate. Is my mate about to get eaten? Oh, that's not my mate. That's a whole different creature. <gasps> it got eaten. It got eaten. Okay, let's go grab that part. Sucks to be you, buddy, but I'm not gonna let your sacrifice go to waste. I will gain the knowledge to defend myself with a spike. There we go. So we probably want to be smaller and faster for sure. But in order to pass on our genes, we must survive long enough to find a mate. And then adapt and survive. And go, 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 go. There's some delicious diet homes. Ooh, look at all these. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and eat these. I can't wait to see what we turn into. I'm thinking maybe a bird creature, but I'm dreaming big. No, mine. Mine. That's right. You back off. These are mine too. Still mine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see. And actually, I'm big enough I can probably call down a mate in just a second. But let's eat this little cluster of diatoms to get some of the DNA energy. No, my diatoms. I'm too big to eat them now. Oh my. Everybody's getting a little bit more intense now. Maybe it is time to summon a mate and adapt some. So let's see if we can find somebody. There's a lovely, a lovely lady right over here. Wow, that one looks bigger than me. All right, we left behind a little egg. And let's start tweaking our genetics. Combining them. Oh, look at us. We're so cute. And we still have just like a casual name. Oh, I named the planet Aline. I feel so silly now. The Raphos, the Kates, the Marla. Hmm, the Kimas. Oh, I like that. Let's go with the Kimas for now. And then let's see if we can adapt a little bit with what we've got. So we now have more flagella that could help us with our speed and movement. I would really like to move a little bit faster. We've got a couple big eyes. We might want to shrink our body down just a little bit. I feel like we're, we're just so exposed. We've got a couple really big eyes, which are kind of fun. I might shrink some of it down. I can't shrink the size of my body down at all. I have my, my uh, little, what are these? The filter mouth, which allows us to eat the plant buds and that makes us an herbivore um maybe i should get rid of one flagella i think i'm gonna keep both flagellas for now so we can move faster and then when we come back we're going to look for uh, a spike and a jaw and we have to earn the dna points to use those though how do we earn dna points we eat we feast we fight for survival on the brink of our tiny little primordial pool ah there you go little guy taking pictures don't mind me as the scientist, like, watching over this petri dish of creation. Oh, I like how you look. No, I don't like how you look. I like how this guy looks, but I don't like how, how the guy who just bit my flagella looks. Eh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. I just want to eat and survive. I love all of these green guys, though. I should maybe try to make myself green. That would be really cool. I want to mimic, I want to mimic the way they look. And they've got double flagella, or they've got double filter mouths, so they're able to eat faster. I'm bigger than him, though, so I was able to shove him out of the way. You're cool. I would interbreed with you, little grubby, if I could, but I don't think I can. All right, look at all those giant jaws hiding in the background, just waiting for me, waiting for a moment of inattention. Hey, back off. A moment of inattention on my part to be able to consume me. Look at this eyeball. That's so cool. Whoa. Whoa. I got bigger. I got bigger. Hey, hey. Ooh, those are cool too. I want your little, your little wing things. Those are fun. All right. And we need to follow some of the carnivores around, which sounds terrifying. But the reason we do that is that when the carnivores eat all of the other creatures, that's when they drop their precious DNA parts and we can collect them and become like them. Hey, you're trying to eat me, aren't you? Rude. Very rude. Hey, hey, okay, oh dear. Hey, what do you think about that, huh? Now I'm bigger than you. Don't mess with me. All right, so we're nibbling quite a bit. So far, so good. There we go. Look at that. And let's see if we can find another mate, because I think I need to adapt a bit. My mate's being eaten by this prickly fish. Rude. 
Thankfully, my mate will have a chance. Oh, look at the little flagella mouths. The little filter mouths. Thankfully, my mate will have a chance to survive because we're passing on our genetics. Or even if they don't survive, it's okay. All right, so now we have the question of um, defense. So I think I want to become really defensive. I want to kind of put the filter mouths on the side and I want to poke things. I want to poke things just like we poke things in Subnautica so that I can I can kind of defend myself but I really want can I, let's see I can make larger little little filter mouths and then I can scooch my flagella in the back hmm and now I can kind of defend myself maybe I should have like some defense on the side defense from behind as well hmm Gotta think about this. Maybe I'll shrink those down a little bit. So now I can break things open, but I still can only eat. That's kind of more like for defense, like don't eat me. Here, I think what I'll do is I'll put them like this because if we don't eat other things yet, if we're still just a two-eyed, itty-bitty little multicellular chema and we don't have a carnivore mouth yet, then it wouldn't really make sense for us to have the spikes in the front, like for eating and attacking. It's more for defense at this point. All right, let's see if we can change our colors. I wanna be green. There's some really pretty green things. I always wanna be green though. Maybe I should go for something else. Let's see, we have green and purple as the, uh, we have the Finna, they're green. And then we have purple, which would be the Leoplee for our other playthrough. So maybe I'll go with blue this time because I do like blue as well oh and th that's pretty cool that's pretty cool all right we'll go with this one come along little Kimas let's see if we can get you out of the tide pool today but I need to gather up more of the parts if I want that all right. yay look at all my additional super awesome there we go all of my additional bits and pieces really help out whoa that was so cool look at those guys <laughs> they showed him what for I wish I could get some of their parts. All right, we have to swim around until we find more parts too. Oh, did somebody just get eaten? Ah! I don't want to be eaten. I need more. No, run away! Ah, don't stun me. I'm just trying to get away. Ah, stun the big guy for crying out loud. Ah, there's a part somewhere. Somebody, somebody got nommed. <gasps> yes, all right, we got the part. We now have the electric abilities. Hey, how about you don't? He is chasing me down. He's got lots of friends. I would like to move faster, please. Oh my gosh, I would really love to move faster. <laughs> that would be excellent, if, if you don't mind. Hey, back off. I don't want you to eat me either. Hey, no, that's mine. Ha, I got it, I got it. All right, and I'm about to die, so I better pass on my genes soon. But I want to be, no, he took it. Ouch, and then he defended himself. Life in the tide pool is a lot rougher than I remember. I'm used to conquering galaxies, having to like pull- I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm leaving little trails of blood. Oh dear. I definitely need to heal up. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can find any more parts anywhere really quickly. What is that? <gasps> it's a meteor part. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What'd I get? Ooh, I have poison now. That's one way to definitely be very defensive. Let's see, but I really want to just be able to move faster. That's like my biggest goal. Hey, back off. Back off. Oh, look at this. I'm defending, I'm defending my little turf territory. Wow, I used, I used my abilities to kill for the first time. I feel a little conflicted, but hey, 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 look, I can get you too. Hey now, I think that this is a good sign. This may be a good indicator. We, we had our spikes meet in battle. This may be a good indicator that I am ready to become an omnivore now that I have actually defeated others. Ah, there should be something nearby. Look at that guy. He's really got the know-how of it. Able to defend yourself in multiple ways. Huh, let's call my mate over. Beautiful, beautiful creature, where are you? There you are. And look at those eyeballs in the background. That's so cool. And let's try this again. So what are we gonna modify this time? All right, little Kimas. We're gonna try to turn you into something pretty cool. Um, I think I really want, okay, we're going good on defense. Maybe we'll slow down a little bit if it means I can add in another jaw. So maybe I can make this super tiny. Also put it in the front. Maybe I can put it like in the very front. There we go. And then, yeah, there we are. 
Now we have both filter mouth and we have our little jaws. So I think that'll serve us really well. And I have enough points that I can even add in a little bit more defense. So I'm gonna scooch this down. If I could, I would change the angle, but you really can't. And maybe I'll add up a little bit more of a size because we can afford to get bigger if we're so well defended. There we go. You just never know how they're gonna change. It's really fun. All right, there's that. And then I feel like the eyeballs, I like having multiple eyeballs. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Now we have multiple, multiple eyeballs. That's really cool. All right, come on, Kimas. Let's see how we do with the ability to, uh, to eat both types of food now. We're omnivores, we're very adaptable. I would say that we're probably like very opportunistic. Hey, there's another one of me. That's so cool, they're just swimming around too. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Gonna go ahead, I wanna eat this guy. I really, ah, he got me first. All right, his spikes are bigger than mine. <laughs> that matters a lot in this world. There's a tiny little thing. Can I eat you? Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, I need something to be more offensive if I'm going to be able to eat me. All right, so I need to probably put some spikes in the front. Ah, there we go. Now we're still missing a whole bunch of the parts. I thought, oh, look at the cool little shells floating around. I thought by now we would have a lot more parts. Hey, are you trying to mess with me? Guess what? Haha, <laughs> defended myself, yes. Are we gonna have our first taste of meat? Taste of meat even? Hey, back off. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a carnivore if I've ever seen one. He's got some mouths on him. Are you nuts? You're trying to eat me? Look, this is like a fish eat fish world and like we're being chased. You got eaten, you got eaten. I'm about to get eaten. Move, 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 move. Face my defensive wrath. Oh, am I getting him? <gasps> no way. Okay, turn. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna defeat the big guy. I'm gonna defeat the big guy. Come on, don't let him get me. Turn to the side. <gasps> I did it. I did it! I turned him into into death! I turned him into dead! Not food, unfortunately. Gosh darn, I was hoping he just like is gonna lay on his side. Not even be edible. At least this guy was edible. There. I am fierce. I have defended myself. We're still alive. Where are all of the <laughs> Where are all the pieces? I really need to eat. Hey, back off. You want it you want this to face the same fate your buddy did? Cause Oh, we did it! Yes, all right, now I have more food to eat. Fantastic. What I really need, though, are some better propellers. I feel like we're very awkward at movement, and we need to be better at movement. Let's see, can I eat you? That's my food. And I need to be a little bit more offensive, I think, at being able to, to like, stab at the others. Hey, mine, mine, hey, back off. Hey, what are you doing? He has, like, a little, a little tick mouth. Yeah, that's what you get. All right, so I think what we need to do is move into being even more offensive and able to poke things without having it just be like, rawr, poking you with my sides, because this is a little bit ineffective if we're going to also turn into a carnivore. But then it's nice to just turn around and have like the safety. Look at that guy, he's using his little tube mouth and like eating the others. I want your, I want your flagella, give me, no, don't you, hark. Ah! All right, come on, Blodo. I'm gonna get you. All right, we need to become more offensive. Where's my mate? We must raise, we must raise heroic children who will know how to do battle. Did I die? Is my brain growing? <laughs> See, now that we're coordinating our battle efforts. Yay! I'm not ready to go yet, though. I need more parts. All right, my mate, come. Let us teach our children how to be spiky, offensive heroes who will be able to really attack too. I mean, and we love eating the algae, don't get me wrong, but we are going for more of a, uh, more of an aggressive playthrough this time as well. All right, we'll put those little mouths there. And can I put just, I just want one. Ah, it's so hard when you've only got like this tiny creature to mess with. There we go. Maybe we'll start with like a small, it would kind of be cool if I could do like multiple, uh, let's see, if I could do, multiple spikes in the front as well and make them really small like we have a little needle mouth but we could also oh look at that that's cool hang on turn there we go and then i need my flagella mouth i kind of 
I need, there's an omnivore mouth somewhere. I want to find it. So we're not quite done with the primordial tide pool just yet, but this time around, we'll be able to dive in and be a little more offensive with our little Kimas. Oh, look at that. There's some possible food. All right, Kimas. I know you guys can do this. Look at this. Ah, oh, we got the food. Ah, oh, th this little guy's trying to defend himself. Hey, hey, how are you doing that? How's he doing that? He's just so small. I should be able to eat him. See, and then when we decide that that's too much trouble. Hey. Haha. <laughs> no, eat my spikes. Eat my spikes. What the heck? How are you? Kimas, why? <gasps> All right. Well, clearly I need to work on my, my battle offensives, but I want to be like a sassy little bird is what I think we may go for for the Kimas, but we're just going to have to see what kind of surprises we discover. I do have several hundred. Hey, hey, hey. Like, how are you guys doing that? Why can't I be more offensive with you? Come on. Come on. Poke him. Poke him. Are my spikes not big enough? What is this nonsense? <laughs> We're being plagued. We have competition in the tide pool. This is unacceptable. All right. Well, I got to figure out where those other pieces are because we do need them before we move on. But I'm beginning to see how we might start switching over to more of a um, more of an herbivore route just because I can't seem to be very good at offensive. Uh, uh, wait. <gasps> guys. Guys. Propeller. Go, 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 go. Yes, all right, no, and I'm being plagued by these little things again. No, you can't eat me. I need to move faster. He's going to outpace me. Oh, dear. All right, so we've still got quite a bit to do. It appears that we have very specific species competition in our tide pool. And so I will see you guys next time to see how our little Kimas develop and where their story may go. It's going to be interesting to see how they stack up against the Leopli and the Fena, who have already created such amazing spacefaring civilizations. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Run, little Kima, run!